Hey Stampers, it's Judy Clock here coming to you today for a lesson at lunch. And today we're going to talk about how to use our great background stamps and our blending brushes to create some background designs that you could use in place of designer series paper or just to make a nice statement piece for your card. So I have here spiral die, which I love and I've used before, and hand-drawn dots, which I got when I went to on stage. And I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, so I'm kind of excited. And I've paired this one with our Easter Bunny set. And I think it's going to be a cute little spring card for you to do. So the first one I want to do is I want to do our spiral die set. And just bear with me for one minute. I forgot to cut my white paper. So let me do that real quick. So with our spiral die, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to create a background using our blending brushes and some of our ink. So I've got Poppy, I've got um, Poppy Parade. That was Sweet Sorbet, which is for another project. I've got Poppy Parade. I've got Daffodil Delight. I've got Granny Apple Green. Flirty Flamingo. Gorgeous Grape. And Pacific Point. So I'm just going to take some of these and I'm going to just kind of dab them in my ink. And then I'm just going to start adding some color to my card. Okay. And I'm going to start. That's why I have the paper underneath because I'm sort of sort of, I started off the card. I've got here some gorgeous grape. We're going to do the same thing. Let me pull this up a little bit so you can see. And I'm just kind of starting off. I'm going in circular motions. And I'm starting kind of off the card um, so that we can add the color. Next, we're going to add some Daffodil Delight. Maybe I'll try to put this over here. Okay. Then we're going to get some, I guess this is um, Poppy Parade. Okay. Add that down here. Okay. And then let's try some gorgeous grape. This isn't gorgeous grape. Oh my goodness. This is granny apple green. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then maybe we'll add just a little bit of our flirty flamingo in that last little space that we have. Okay. So again, starting off and just kind of using them in a circular motion. Now, if you don't like the colors that you have, if you want to go a little bit darker, let's go a little bit darker with our flirty flamingo. Just again, add a little bit more color. Okay, so that is all I'm going to do. I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to close up some of these inks because we've got a lot of them open. We've got six different inks open. But I really like the way we've kind of gotten all our colors on there, kind of can have that tie dyed effect, I hope, which we're going for with our spiral dye. Okay, and now let's get out, let's bring out our stamp apparatus because with these big background dyes, you really do want to use the stamp apparatus for these. Okay, now, because the stamp apparatus is going to take up really the entire um, section, I really can't use the magnet, so I'm just going to put down a little bit of washi tape to hold my, my piece in place, my paper in place. And don't worry about this because this is actually cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. So we're going to end up trimming this down. So if the spiral die, you know, doesn't get into these little tiny corners, chances are those are going to be trimmed off anyway. So that's fine. So I've got our spiral die here. Let me place it on my card, right over my, my card stock. And I'm going to pick it up. Okay. How many of you have the stamp apparatus? And how many of you use your stamp apparatus? It's a great tool, especially when you have these beautiful, large background dies. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and add some of our Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now, the other good thing about this is you want this to be nice and dark. So if we stamp it the first time and we don't get a good impression, we can lift it up and try all over again. I got one of these little... It's like a hockey puck it's for like an air hockey game. My teammate made it for me. She put a little bit of felt on the bottom. And it's great for getting some nice, even pressure on your stamp apparatus. So, oh, didn't even get anything up here. 
All right. But see, that's the great thing is I lift it up and I can just put it right back down. And it's still not getting any pressure up there. I wonder why. Why isn't that going on up there? Let me turn this around. Maybe I just don't have enough oomph up there to get that to go. Okay, that is still on. This is just giving me a tough time up in this corner for some reason. The ink just doesn't want to go on. All right, we're going to call that good enough for now. I would probably go over it again. But for now, I'm going to leave that as is and show you what our card would look like with that background. So isn't that pretty? You have all those pretty colors there. You just got a sweet statement here. This is from the Something Fancy stamp set. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. So perfect for a sentiment where maybe you don't have um, any uh, artwork to go with it, or if it's just a stamp set, like the Easter Bunny set where there was no designer series paper for it. This is perfect for something like that. So that is one. Now let's go and play with those hand-drawn dots. I really like this one. So once again, I'm going to use my Stamparatus. Let's take off our tie-dye piece for now. Okay, and we're going to put on a piece of plain white paper. Okay, again, five and a half by four and a quarter. So we'll cut this down when we're done. And again, I'm going to add some washi tape just to hold it down in the corners because, uh, again, this die, the, I'm sorry, the die, the stamp set, the stamp is so big that we really can't use the magnets with this. So, and because it is a cling stamp, we don't need to use the foam piece here. We can go right onto the Stamparatus magnetic platform. So it's all good. And this happened last time. I lose the ends of this silly washi tape. I'm not going to worry about it. We've got three of the corners down. That's good enough for me. Okay, and we're going to use Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight, and Granny Apple Green again. And we're going to add some. Now you can see I've already got some color on there. So I had Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and Flirty Flamingo. I just want to make sure that this is going to be covering up my cardstock. And my cardstock is a little bit out of range. So let me try to put it there. Okay. I can pick it up. Okay. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to add some color. So I'm going to add Daffodil Delight down here. And again, you can sort of see where I had the different colors going. So I'm just going to add some Daffodil Delight. Now you can do one of two things. You can add all of your colors onto the stamp at one time, or we can add our Daffodil Delight. We can stamp it down. Let's hope this will go. Okay, now that looks like we need a little bit more color up there. Now I'm gonna add some Granny Apple Green. Okay, now I might add a little bit more of our Daffodil Delight down here. And I know my colors are going to overlap and that's perfectly fine. I don't mind that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go add some, a little bit more Daffodil Delight. Let's add some Granny Apple Green now. Okay, I'm gonna add that Granny Apple Green right in the middle there. Okay, and when I'm done with my blending brushes, what I do is I go and I rinse them off right away. Um, I just, you know, rinse them in hot water and then I soak them in a mixture of, um, Norwex Ultra Power Plus detergent and water, and they come out almost like they're brand spanking new. I just let them soak for like, I don't know, a couple of hours and they're usually good to go. Look at that. Now let's go back and add our Daffodil Delight. Not our Daffodil Delight. Oh my goodness. Our Flirty Flamingo. Let me add a little bit more Granny Apple Green to that middle section. Okay, let's get a little bit more Granny Apple Green on there. And then let's go ahead and add our Flirty Flamingo. So if you haven't tried these background stamps, I would encourage you to do so. And also, if you are not yet subscribing to my newsletter, go ahead and do that. 
because I always give a free tutorial and I have my weekly tips and tricks. So just a little something extra for you guys, as well as information on current sales and whatever classes or workshops I'm offering. So go ahead and sign up. The link will be down below in the description. Okay. All right. That is looking so good. Let's add just a tad more of that Daffodil Delight. Oh my gosh. I keep calling it Daffodil Delight. It is Flirty Flamingo. The pink one, not the yellow one. <laughs> And happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you get to spend it with those that are special to you and do something fun. I already told my husband that we're going to order out for dinner, so I'm not cooking tonight. And there we go. And look at that. Isn't that a fun little background that you could create? Now, you could do it all one color. You could do it different colors like I did. And look at how we've used this in a card. Isn't that a sweet little bunny card? Perfect for the spring. So I've incorporated all the colors from my background. We've got the Flirty Flamingo card base, a little Daffodil Delight for our bunny to sit on, and then just our sentiment with some Granny Apple Green. So those are our two cards for today. I hope you liked them. I hope you'll give our background stamps a chance. I hope you'll, you'll buy them and you'll use them. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and let me know what you think. That's it, everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye.